Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for July of 22. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the phone playlist to see all of the highlights every month. You might find something that would be perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, you might have noticed that I didn't do one of these videos last month. The reason for that is because I was super busy working on my turn-based strategy course, which is finally done after 5 months of work, so if you want to take your game dev skills from beginner to advanced, then check out the course. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. And finally, the free health system, which lets you easily add health to any object in your games. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a pretty interesting tool for aligning your objects onto surfaces. This one is a tool that does exactly one thing and does it very well. You take your selected object and you can snap it and rotate it to whatever object you want. This is a very simple tool that will definitely save you tons of times if you need to attach objects to non-flat areas. So if you want to add a mass to your capsule, or perhaps you have a spherical world, then this tool can definitely be very useful. Up next, if you need a bunch of cute cartoony heroes, check out this one. Really great style, reminds me of Link's Awakening. Features two characters, male and female, holding a sword and a shield. Also comes with quite a nice amount of animations, about 15. And if you like this style and the quality of this asset, then this dev has a bunch more packs with tons of characters and monsters. Then here's a bit of a strange one, it's a zombie. It's got what looks like some pretty nice animations, very expressive. They would definitely look super scary in a dark game with a nice model. Although this asset isn't really animations, it's the controller that moves them. So this logic of pushing the zombie and having it fall down in a nice satisfying way, that is part of the asset. So it looks really nice, although not sure how the moving non-animations works, but if you're interested it's free, so check it out. Then if you have some flags in your game and you want to make them flow with the wind, look at this shader. There's lots of parameters you can change to affect the wind intensity, the texture scroll speed, and so on. So it's a pretty simple shader and it does look great. Next up, if your game features some house interior, look at this one. It includes 40 free props, all of them in a nice low poly style, so perfect for casual mobile games, or really anything where you want to build a house interior, like perhaps making a game like The Sims. And if you like this style, then this tab has tons more packs with tons more objects. Then for an interesting tool, a Polygon 2D Collider Solver. Collisions with weird shapes are always a bit tricky, and apparently the default Unity Box 2D Physics, that physics engine, apparently has some trouble with some kind of convex shapes. So this tool appears to solve that. You can easily create any shape and it handles collisions even with a convex mesh. You can easily handle collisions even with these weird shapes. Up next, something pretty simple, here's a low poly AK-47. This one is a very iconic weapon, really nice style. It features a folding stock and a bunch of attachments, so with this free asset it would be great to experiment with some kind of attachment system. And also lots of the parts are separated so you can easily animate them. Then if you have a weapon, you need some kind of controller, so here's a free FPS controller. Contains a bunch of the features that you would need for such a controller. So for example, it features smooth item switching, it features head bob, some movement enhanced effects and much more. Also includes a bunch of 3D models for the demo scene, so there's a nice leather, hacks, crowbar and a bunch more. Up next, if you need some icons, look at this one. It's a nice collection of items for you to use in your medieval games, and you can easily adjust the background to get some nice rarity color variation. And then for another interesting tool, here is a UPnP connector. This has to do with NAT and firewalls. If you've ever tried to make a multiplayer game, you know how tricky this is to manage. So this asset tries to solve that by talking to your router directly to set up port forwarding. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for July of 22. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.